my beautiful people. Sweet Sadie J coming back at you. Just wanted to come on real quick. I haven't been on all day today. I've been so busy, guys. Oh my God. Trying to get, oh, excuse me, get accomplished all the things that I've been trying to do, but I got it done. I can't believe it. It feels so good to actually be productive you know, after so many times of trying to do the same things over and over again, um, I washed my hair. I did my whole natural hair routine in one day, y'all. Can you believe it? I was able to take the shower chair out of the out of the bathroom now and just do my hair all in one day. And I started it late in the day. Like, I pre-pooed late and then I didn't wash my hair until several hours afterwards, you know? And it was really, really, I couldn't believe it. I was done with my entire hair routine at um, 10 minutes after 11 last night. And I started probably around, I pre-pooed my hair around 2.30 and I was going to wash it out around 4.30, but I got a phone call like 4.20 and they had me on the phone for a long, long time. And so when I got off the phone, I think I was just washing the pre-poo out of my hair around, um, I want to say 5.30, 6 o'clock. So y'all see, I didn't start my whole routine until late. Then I gotta wash my hair. Then I gotta put a rinse in the color of the grays. Then I have to do a deep conditioner. Then I have to put do a rice rinse. So, whew, I did it. I did it. I couldn't believe it. I did my bills. I did my taxes today. I cleaned my house. I mean, I could not believe it. It's a lot of traffic out here. It's like 6.23 in the evening. So, I was trying to wait for this, um, you know, people to get off from work and then run to Walmart's because y'all know I wouldn't come out here unless I really needed something and I'm out of my water so I gotta come out here and get my tonic water but I plan on going up to Raleigh um, either tomorrow or Monday because I want to go to Aldi's and I want to go to Walmart and in Raleigh the Walmart's and the Aldi's are right across from each other we don't have an Aldi's down here in my town so but I want to do like my monthly grocery shopping, which I told y'all before is like $150 a month. So I want to do like a quarter of that or half. I don't know. I hadn't decided yet at Walmart and then the other half at Aldi's because I really didn't get a chance to really explore Aldi's to the full extent the last time I went there because I was rushing trying to get back to um, pick my sister up from work so this time when I go up I could just take my sweet time I ain't even gonna tell mama <laughs> but don't um, I just um, yeah but I want to go up there I also want to go to the GFC store the secondhand store to see if I can find me some uh, summer blouses and uh, or shirts to fit my uh, wider girth here <laughs> since I've put on so much daggone weight uh, I just want to see if I can't find some inexpensive um, shirts to fit uh, but I'm just gonna look around and see what they have I'm not too keen about buying clothes from the secondhand store well let me just put it to you this way I've never done it before so I'm gonna give it a whirl I mean why not right uh, saving a dollar is a dollar if you can get a shirt for three dollars two dollars or three dollars as opposed to you know ten or twelve dollars you know we'll see so anyway those are the things on my agenda to do I'm not sure it's trying to rain out here it was raining earlier today I don't know what the weather is supposed to be like tomorrow I think I heard something about it supposedly turning cold again, which I'm not too happy about it because I'm so thrilled with my plants out on my patio. I don't know what to do. So, but if I have to bring them all back in, I'll just bring them all back in. But um, that's my plan, and I'll keep you guys up to date. Right now, I'm just gonna run in here to Crazy Wally World. Unfortunately, it's the only one here in this town, and I'm used to coming from Raleigh where we have four, at least four in our immediate vicinity. So, 
you can't find something at one, you can go to the other three and you guarantee to find it. And today I got to walk the football field because I got to go on both sides. So I'm just going to go over here on the food side first, grab what I need and then come over here to the non-food side and um, park my car. Well, I better go back over on the other side. But anyway, these I tell you, these folks out here, they don't know what they doing. Y'all see where our Dollar Tree is down there? And our Walmart is right here. So that's how close we have uh, the Walmart and the Dollar Tree here. But, but still, this small Dollar Tree don't really have too many different places. But... I'm going to try to find me a decent park. Sorry, y'all. There's people coming. I had to turn the camera down, and I don't have my tripod. And this man walking right out in the middle of the damn street. Where he think he at? I'm just like, oh, Lord. This is what happens when you come out here to the zoo. Because this place is always, always a zoo. So I'm going to turn back around and see if I can't go back over here on the pharmacy side because this is the side I'm going to want to come out on. When I come out, it's usually easier to get in and out of here when you're on the pharmacy side. So, yep, see? Nice park right up here. We've got a cart right here. So I wash my hair. I did everything that I needed to do. They got three carts in front of here. Hope I don't hit any of them. Y'all see those carts? All three of them right here in front. So I have my hair in corn braids right now. And I just put one of my headbands. Oh, my same headband on. Because I just love these things. I had my hat on earlier when it was raining. And I had to take the garbage out. But I will come back and show you guys what I bought if I... If I can find anything it's so hard to find the stuff that I'm looking for you know in this um, in this Walmart because it is the only one in the area but I hope everybody's enjoying your Friday getting ready for a great weekend love peace and happiness I'll see you in a minute guys bye hello my beautiful people sweet Sadie J coming back at you Oh my God, I just got home and my plans that I made before I left the house went completely off the rail. So I ultimately ended up doing all of my grocery shopping, most of it, um, I, on, at Walmart's because we are having some type of tropical weather right now with the wind blowing really, really bad and it's really dark and um, areas were losing power. So Walmart's was empty, almost empty. And then I went over to the Dollar Tree and they were like a ghost town. I was like, oh my God, this is so great to be able to just go through this store and do my shopping, you know, without feeling a little, <laughs> you know. So I'm going to show you guys what I've um, got. And remember that my budget for the month is $150. That doesn't include my weekly or bi-weekly runs back and forth to get coffee and water. But most of this is for the whole month. I was going to go to Aldi's. I really, really wanted to go to Aldi's. But like I said, once I went to Walmart's, I just grabbed most of the stuff that I had on my list. So we're going to start over here. And you'll see I got my Special K Red Berries. Um, they have the bigger box at Walmart's. I think it was like 388 so I went on and got that because the small box at all these is like a dollar eighty nine and I only get like three bowls of cereal out of that. So I was gonna get two. So if I had gotten two at all these for a dollar eighty nine, it would have exceeded the three eighty eight for one big one large box. So I got that. I got my sugar, great value, granulated sugar for my coffee. I got one of my big jars of ragu meat sauce, and I told y'all I use this for everything, my pizzas, my spaghetti bakes, my lasagnas, whatever. I use that for everything, and I have almost a whole jar in my refrigerator because I opened it and only used a little bit out of it, so I still have some in the refrigerator. 
and I got another sugar-free creamer. I really, really wanted to try the new vanilla and chocolate caramel creamer, but they don't have them in the sugar-free, so I just went ahead and got my normal uh, sugar-free great value brand, and I think that's like, what, 180 something? Let me see if I can find that on the receipt, but I get this every month. Oh, I'm not good with looking at these prices on here, but I know it's like it's really inexpensive because it's the great value brand. So this month ran me a little bit higher than normal because I had to get a lot of personal stuff, but I still stayed within my budget. So with some with a little bit left to go. So I'm not being able to find that. Pasta tea bags. Um, oh, there it is. One eighty-four for that big thing of creamer. So, and I get this every month, and that is the great value French vanilla. Then I got some black tea because I wanted to switch up from doing my rice rinse to doing black tea rinse, but I didn't realize it was decaffeinated until I got it home. So I'm not sure if that's gonna work the same way. Or should I go back? But I'm going to keep it because I can have a cup of tea at night if I want because it's decaffeinated. So I'm going to go ahead and keep it. And I'll try a couple of the black tea rinse with this and see if it works. But I'm, try I'm kind of getting over that stinky rice water. But I still have some rice left. So I'm not going to use that until I run completely out of my rice. And y'all know my coffee. I typically get two a week. But... They had only three left on the shelf, so I just went ahead and grabbed all three of them. So those are my pods. And then this is my favorite brand new item, the Great Value Pot Perfect Thin Spaghetti. It's perfect. You don't have to break it in half or anything, and I love this. And they have the regular spaghetti, and they have the thin spaghetti. They have it in angel hair, but this is awesome, and I love it. So I haven't bought regular spaghetti since I found the Pot Perfect boxes, and that's like a dollar, a dollar at Walmart because it's a great value. Then I got my, of course, my great value rotisserie seasoned chicken. So I got one for now, and I'll probably get another one later on in the month. And I got me a bag of flour tortillas because I really had a taste for some shrimp tacos. So I was going to, if I had gone grocery shopping earlier, I would have bought my shrimp and made me some shrimp tacos. And that's why I have the butter lettuce because I love that lettuce. And then I bought one tomato. And then I have a jar of salsa. All Well, I got a couple of jars of salsa in the refrigerator that I put on my shrimp tacos so then I got a big thing of the mozzarella hopefully it'll last me the whole month with the spaghetti bakes the pizzas and all that stuff I'm hoping that will be enough because normally I get the smaller bag but I went ahead and got the big bag this month because I'm always running out so then I got another pack of cheese I wanted monster cheese and it had every kind of cheese at great at Walmart except the monster cheese so I got Havarti I have a whole pack of the Kobe Jack that I bought from all these last month that I just opened up all the other two I ate already so and then I got a large can of tuna fish because I normally get two and the two small ones are $1.50 a piece and this one large one is 290 so I saved a couple of pennies by just going ahead and just getting the large one which is what I used to do I don't know why I started buying those smaller ones but I was actually spending more money on those two small cans as opposed to just getting one one um, large can so I got that and I don't eat a lot of ketchup but I do like ketchup on some things so I got the great value I've never tried this before so I'm gonna give it a try I'll come back on later on and let you guys know how I liked it. But it's 50% less sugar and 50% less sodium. So it was only a dollar something. So I was like, yeah, I'll take it. Great value. Then I got a bag of my Murray's Ginger Snaps. These are about $2. And then I've got some broccoli florets, which I already have some in the freezer. But this is my favorite vegetable along with green beans, whole green beans, but I love me some broccoli. So I keep that on hand. I roast it, boil it, whatever, steam it. And then I got me a little thing of great value 
sea salt caramel ice cream truffle ice cream this ice cream is so freaking good y'all it's only two dollars at walmart but i'm not even sure if i'm going to be able to eat it but i bought it anyway so i'm like i want my ice cream <laughs> so let me come back oh no i can finish this so they had the value bag of the shrimp and i've never seen these before so they got to be new because Normally I get one of the small packs, but I was planning on getting two and they run about five something a, a small pack and this was ten something. Let me see. This bag of shrimp was duh, 1042 for the value bag and I was like, yes, please. <laughs> I love my shrimp. I make some shrimp tacos, some shrimp scampi, whatever. And then I got me a small pack of chicken wings. That can be a dinner for me. And then I got a large pack of my lean ground turkey. And I will split that in three sections and have three meals out of that. So that's awesome. And then I've got, they were out of my tonic water, which I was very, very upset. They had one bottle of my diet tonic water, but I think I have to go to Raleigh tomorrow to see my sister, so hopefully I'll find it at one of the Walmarts up there. And then I got this little small one, which I hate buying these little small ones. This is like two something for these six little small ones, and it's only 67 cents for this big one. So anyway, I just don't like being in my house without any tonic water, so I have two jugs of distilled water in the bottom of my pantry and I have one whole jug in my refrigerator I haven't even opened so I just bought two for now to get me you know until I need more I'll go back and get some more and then this is where I got this is where <laughs> I lost it today because I had a lot of stuff that was on my list of things that I needed to get like my um let me see if I can sit down for a minute. My back is hurting. Oh. Okay, so we've got the women's vitamins. Okay, which I, they last me, I want to say a good two months. So I have, I'm going to have to check the calendar. I'm going to have to mark the calendar and see just how long this. And they're the gummies. And they're the little berries, and they're the, just the woman's adult gummies, complete multivitamin diet, dietary supplement. And I take that, two of those every day. And I got a thing of my Suave Cocoa Butter and Shea body wash. I love this body wash. It is the bomb, and it's inexpensive. And I never, ever, ever buy a whole can of my shaving cream because it'll be in my shower so long that the bottom of the can will start rusting. So I never, ever buy it anymore. I always buy the little travel one. And I can't tell you how long this little travel can of shaving cream lasts me because all I really shave is under my arm. So, okay. And my stomach's been tore up from the floor up. So again, I went to the Equate. <laughs> The, the Equate version of Pepto-Bismol. That's like a dollar something. And then i trying to turn my clock around since the time changed. And I really, really love my melatonin. And I take five milligrams. But I usually take about four at night. And then I found these. They're the gummies. So I was like, ooh, they got gummies. <laughs> so usually I chew the tablets. And they're a lot cheaper. But this is like $5, $4.88. So I got that and you see it says sleep support so it does really really help you sleep and then I got uh, another thing of color for my hair next month so I don't have to worry about running out of that and I got another jar of my blue magic because I just finished off the last of it last night when I washed my hair and I got this travel toothpaste um, container just to keep in my bathroom to keep the dust from settling on my toothbrush because my electric toothbrush has a has a top to protect my toothbrush but my regular toothbrush doesn't and sometimes I switch back and forth so I went to get a normal pack of the Huggies natural wipes but they were completely out of them but they had this over in a travel um, compartment for a dollar so I just grabbed one for now because I'm not out of them in the bathroom so I just said I'll grab that for now and every month I always buy a package of my um, my little plastic caps 
and these are the ones that 15 in them and I don't need any more than that. I just opened up a new pack yesterday when I washed my hair. But um, they do have the big economy pack now and they have the large size um, plastic caps um, down that aisle as well now. And then I bought my mask. I love this mask right here. Um, I know I used up the last of thing. I think I have so much stuff in there I can't even get to. But I love this cream of nature mask, and when I find it, I try to grab it, and I think it's like six eighty eight. And this stuff is really, really good. I really, really like this stuff for the um, price in the price range. And then of course I got you know my usual little girl pads. And um, as long as I buy a big one once every now and then, I only have to buy a small one every month. So, and I just fill the big pack up. Now, this is where I really, really spent some money because I really didn't want to do it. They had the little small bottle where you could put the drops on your skin tag and let it dissolve. But it was like, I think I want to say six eighty eight for the small little bottle but then they had these skin tag remover patches medicated patch covers and conceals tag dries and falls away but this was uh nine something it's almost ten dollars so i was like well you know what it's good to have on hand i'm gonna buy it one time and one time only so i went ahead and invested in that because this skin tag on my neck drives me crazy if it didn't itch so bad I wouldn't have a problem with it so but it itches and then you know you can't scratch a skin tag you know <laughs> it's like trying to scratch the bottom of your foot all right so after that is the end of my Walmart grocery haul for this month and next I guess yeah this month and then I went over to the Dollar Tree and I just bought I'm putting my ice cream in the freezer y'all and then I just bought um, a few little things uh, some more. I found the peanut butter cups at this Dollar Tree where they didn't have them. They had the Reese ones at the other ones. So I got a couple of bags of those. And I've been wanting to get this marshmallow candle for, I don't know, I don't know why I do things like this, but, oh, I do. I kept smelling it in the store and I thought if I burn this, it smells so good, y'all. It smells so yummy. I was afraid that if I burned it, it would make me want something sweet <laughs> so I wouldn't buy it but I just I was looking for them today I was ready to commit and they only had one so I got that one and I had to dig all the way in the back to get this one but man this thing smells so good and I've been seeing the milk bottles and y'all know I'm not really into that farmhouse motif thing you know but I when I first saw these milk bottles I loved them <laughs> And I picked them up, I examined them, and I put them back down. But today, I just committed, and I bought two of them. So I don't know what I'm going to do with them yet, but I like them. They're so cute. They're kind of like nostalgic, you know. This is Milk by Heritage Company since 1810. So it's a dairy milk by Heritage Company. Uh, since 1810 and I thought they were so good and they're serrated on the side of the glass it's really really cute I don't know what I'm gonna do with them but anyway so I picked up another thing of my uh, cocoa butter yeah my cocoa butter petroleum jelly you know this is from the Dollar Tree and I like that and I got a couple of my batteries for my um, diabetes machine and also for my watches so and then I found some oven cleaner because I really need to clean my oven. Heavy duty oven cleaner at the Dollar Tree. And I didn't know if they had this or not. And I saw it and I was like, yes, they do. So I grabbed it. But that, my friends, oh my God, is the end of my <laughs> Walmart and Dollar Tree grocery and miscellaneous non-food items for this month.
and I am exhausted and I guess Aldi's is not going to see me this month. I don't know. I have to go to Raleigh tomorrow to see my sister and I might just run by there and get some fresh fruit. Like their grapes are awesome. But I still had a whole bag of my Honeycrisp apples and my um, blood red oranges. So yeah, I got out some out here in the bowl because out of sight out of mind I just completely forgot about them and so I put filled my fruit bowl up here and so I've been eating those every day and then I got another bowl of the apples and oranges in my refrigerator in a drawer so I don't really need any more fruit because I really need to eat <laughs> this fruit and my my band is sliding off my head but this is the end of the vlog guys i hope you guys enjoyed watching my little grocery haul i mean that's just one of me so you know i don't need a lot of stuff like everybody else i love watching everybody grocery hauls and dollar tree hauls i don't know why that stuff just thrills me but it does but sweet sadie J, coming back at you remember guys be kind to each other the world is big enough for us all love peace and happiness See you later, guys. Have a blessed day. Please like, comment, and subscribe. Bye.